In this lab, creating a composer environment and navigating in the Airflow UI, we will be learning about Cloud Composer, uh, its environment and the components of it and what are the environments, the type of environments that are given, what is Apache Airflow followed by the lab task and the architecture diagram. So let's begin. Uh, this lab is majorly for cloud developer and cloud DevOps engineers. Uh, it comes into the category of compute, serverless, and pipelines. This lab will take 60 minutes to complete. Uh, that is the maximum time allocated. And let's understand what is Cloud Composer. Cloud Composer is a fully managed workflow orchestration service, which means Google will take care of everything. You just have to create a DAB. Okay. So if you want to create, monitor and manage workflows, Cloud Composer is a place for you. One of the best part of Cloud Composer is it is being backed by an open source project, Apache Airflow, and it operates using a Python programming language. Okay, so if you are proficient in Python and if you know how Apache Airflow works, Cloud Composer uh, is easy steps for you. So let's understand uh, how does Airflow, Apache Airflow, uh, helps in Cloud Computer. So it takes, the creation requires nearly 10 minutes with no installation or management overhead. You can focus on your workflows, not your infrastructure. So uh, your infrastructure will be created by Cloud Computer, the underneath resources, and you just need to focus on your workflows. At the back end, it uses Google, Kubernetes engine to create, manage, and delete environments cluster where component run. Okay, so these are fully managed by Cloud Composer. Now, with a creation of cluster, Cloud Composer also creates a bucket where it stores the DAX, logs, and the codes that are part of the uh, Cloud Composer environment. So, Cloud Composer environment, before you even create your DAG or workflow, you need to create an environment. And Airflow depends on many microservices to run. So Cloud Composer provisions Google Cloud environment component or services to run your workflow. Okay. So together they are called as Cloud Composer environment. You can create one or more environment in a single Google Cloud project. Okay. So let's understand what are the four components. First one is your Google Kubernetes engine cluster, second is web server, third is database, and fourth, as we discussed, to store the DAX, logs, uh, and other code, we will be using cloud storage bucket. So, Google offers this service in two environments. First one is zonal, uh, and second one is a uh, zonal airflow, uh, metadata DB, and regional airflow scheduling and execution layer. Okay, so we will be using uh, the environment one. Now, what is Apache Airflow? Uh, it is an open source platform for programmatically creating, monitoring, and scheduling workflow. Okay, so this rich user interface makes it easy to visualize pipeline running in production, monitor production, mo monitor progress, and troubleshoot issues when needed. So, in this, uh, we have two tasks we need to create a Cloud Composer and environment and navigate to Airflow UI. So this is how a architecture diagram looks like. Uh, as a user, you will be uh, creating the environment, which will go ahead and create all these resources that are present underneath the complete infrastructure for that. Uh, cloud load balancer, cloud NAT gateway, um, compute engine uh, in multiple zones, and uh, you have firewall rules and Cloud SQL, your database. Okay. So let's start the lab. Uh, to start the lab, we need to click on the Start Lab button present on the right sidebar. So let's click on Start Lab and you need to accept the terms of use. And it may take around uh, 20 seconds to start the lab. Uh, here uh, with these labs, uh, you will be getting a Google Cloud account directly 
provision for you uh, a fresh account so you don't have to use your own personal aws account this is one of the features of the wiz labs hands-on labs yeah lab is ready and here go the lab steps it says that to sign in to the gcp console uh copy the email id but first let's click on the open console so as soon as we click on the open console it is asking for the email so you can use the student uh user email and then put up the password which is present on the right side okay add your password and there you go you just need to accept the terms of services and next part would be to click on agree and continue yeah agree this and click on agree and continue okay so you have now the google cloud account ready for this project and the first thing you need to do here is uh to create a cloud composer environment okay so click on the icon click on more products go to analytics and inside that you will find composer so let's browse uh here i will click on more products and under analytics uh the first one should be composer let's navigate further yeah there you go so in under analytics you have composer after you have clicked on composer uh this will open and you need to choose the composer one okay and provide the name so let's click on composer one and we need to provide the name name is admin environment so you can copy either or just type it as it is shown so i will go ahead and copy that now next part is to select your location that will be user central one us central one your central one okay node configuration make the node count to three by default we can see three choose the zone to us central one a so it is c uh, let's switch it to a and machine type n1 standard one we need to choose and this size would be 30 so let's go ahead machine size n1 standard one and this size 30 uh, the next thing is to select a service account and it will be username uh, at the project id dot im dot g service account dot com okay so this is how my looks like yeah we have a uh, student id and uh, followed by project id okay so we need to change the image version to latest let's see uh yeah latest one is by default selected and then we can uh click on create to create the environment so this will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes for it to create the environment and uh, let's wait here the composer environment uh, is now created uh, so let's see the steps okay so once the uh, composer environment is created uh, we need to click on the open airflow ui and let's click on the name of the environment and then we need to click on the open airflow ui so you can open the airflow ui and navigate the airflow ui so select the account uh, which you have used to log in for the better access uh, make sure to use the guest mode or the incognito mode and here we can see uh, that we have a DAG running with the name airflow monitoring yeah so this DAG is currently running uh, it is being success and the schedule uh, is present last run was at this time utc okay and some tasks have been success you can take the actions uh, for this DAG. And this can be used uh, using DAG can be triggered using Google Cloud Scheduler, which is a fully managed cron job scheduler, makes it easy to schedule your, your workflows. So if you are looking to schedule your workflows, uh, you can use the bag airflow monitoring service okay once the lab is completed you can go ahead and click on validate my lab okay so let's scroll towards up and click on validation and once you are here click on the validate my lab and there we go we have completed the lab uh, and passed 100 percent 
perfect i hope you have learned something and click on the end lab button once you are done okay once the lab is completed you can go ahead and provide the feedback how the lab overall overall was okay so overall feedback just good if you have stuck with any issues you can choose the feedback type and answer that in the present okay thank you so much wits labs success certified